Welcome to Sailor Samara's Mooney Merchandise, Collections, Cosplay, and a whole lot more. Hi everybody! Today I have some more Sailor Moon merchandise to review and this is going to be kind of like a mixture of stuff that I just have, not full sets or anything, just wanted to open them on camera and share them off. Um, this is one of the Ochitomo figures. These are the cup figures that come with a little coaster that uh, goes with them. And um, I have one of them. I've already opened it, so I know which one it is. But I wanted to reopen them on camera so then you can kind of see which one I got. Um, but I have one of those. And then I have three of the Asamente figures. Um, these are by Ben Presto. And these are the three new ones that I have. And I'm going to open those on camera. I haven't opened these yet, so I'm going to open those, but I'll show you the Ochitomo figure first, so then you can see what it is. Alright, so here's what the box looks like up close, and you do get many figures in this set. You get uh, Luna and Artemis, a Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Venus, Tuxedo Mask, and what I liked most about this set is Sailor V. And you do get the little figure, and it's not very big, but it's a little figure, kind of like the other Mega House figures. Um, and they do come with a little coaster. And on the back here, you can actually see what the coasters look like for each figure. So I'm just going to open this up and show you which one that I got. You probably already guess I got the Sailor V one. And this is the only one that I really wanted from the set, so I bought it separately at a convention. I got it at Oticon while I was there. Somebody was selling these separately. There's a bunch of people selling them um, in the blind boxes, but I wanted to be sure that I got this one. So there she is, and there is the coaster that you get. I'm gonna open this up and take a closer look at her. Yeah, she was really, really cute, and I was hoping they would come out with a petite Chara of her, but nothing so far so there is a close-up of the coaster and it has her goggles on there it's artemis and then here is the figure and she's pretty adorable and the copyright is on the back of her head here make sure that you get an official one and i do have a cup so then i could kind of show you how she works Hopefully she'll stay on this cup. I don't know. I've never tried it yet, so. But yeah, she's supposed to stick dangle on there like that. I guess it'd be better to use a sharper edge because she's not one to... There. Don't move. There we go. <laughs> well, oh no! She doesn't want to stay up there. She's very... There. There. Don't move. Okay. This one's more rounded, so she doesn't want to stay very well. But, I don't know, she kind of wants to stay, kind of doesn't. This is the kind of cup that I was going to put her on, so I guess I'll have to put her on something else. But that's kind of the way she goes. But she's really adorable, and it would be nice to have a larger petite of her, maybe in the future. But there she is, and she is adorable. So, there's that. So next I'm going to open these. These are, of course, the Asumente figures, and they come in different sets. Um, the other ones I have are the two Sailor Moon ones from the first and second set, and Chibi Moon, which is from this set here, Saturn's included. I got this particular one at Books a Million, yeah, Books a Million's logo at the bottom. And they put this ginormous sticker on the back. Like, look at that. And I actually did try a little bit, and it does come off, I think, so I'm going to probably take it off. But I wanted to show it to you and uh, kind of get your insight of what you think about that, because I think it's kind of overkill. But they covered up all the Japanese. So, so this is normally what it looks like. They'd have all this Japanese writing, and they covered all that over to put English. But I got this at Books A Million, because I like to try to... Uh, let companies know that I will definitely buy Sailor Moon stuff if it's over here internationally sold so 
it's a little bit more that way sometimes, but I think it's kind of important to support them and let them know that Sailor Moon fans want these. So, but I'm going to open up Saturn first and put her together and see what she looks like. I have been buying all of these because I kind of, I kind of just like to get certain ones that I like the most, certain characters. Which I think is okay because I've been buying all the petite chars, which I really like the petite chars kind of a little bit more. Other people said that they like these ones more, so. There we go. Trying to open it without tearing the box completely apart. So, this is what they come. They come like this. There she is. And open her up together. Plan on putting her right next to Chibi Moon since they're friends. Let's so put the stand together first because it's pretty simple. And the bottom. And the bottoms of these are always pretty well detailed and cute. It does have the copyright on there. And the stands just go together like that. So this has her glaive and it is actually attached to an arm so that is her arm and it just kind of goes on here you got to make sure that you line it up perfectly with the, the notch and then put it on there like so and then you can adjust it accordingly but there is Saturn and she's really really cute Really, really like this one. Saturn is like one of my favorites from the series. I think she's really adorable. So there's Saturn. Let me set her over here for now until I get the others put together. So the next one I have is Black Lady. And this figure here I was so excited about because I absolutely love Black Lady. And these are the other ones from the set. You get Chibiusa, Sailor Pluto, Black Lady, of course, and Luna P. So I have Black Lady and Luna P to open. And there's the sides with her name and everything. So these are crane figures, in case you do not know. Over in Japan, you can get these out of the crane machines, which I hear are extremely hard to play and win. So that's probably another reason why they're kind of like expensive sometimes. Because a lot of people that are selling these might be ones that won them out of the game. So there's what this one looks like. So there's all her pieces. She has a few extra pieces because of her details. There's a stand, just like the other one. It's clear, it's kind of hard to see the detail on it, but it is there. And there's Black Lady. Oh, her dangles. They kind of have little notches at the top of her head, so you make sure that you put them on the right one. I know somebody that got like a Sailor Moon one not too recently, and she got two left ones and she didn't get a right one. Might be messed up in packaging. Now I did get these two at Otakon while I was there in that convention. So there's Black Lady, oh my gosh. She's really, really cute. I really, really, really adored this figure a lot. It's really beautiful. Now there are lots of bootlegs of these figures. So you have to look out for that. Um, there are no Toei stickers. Oh yeah, there are. There's a Toei sticker on the box. So I was wrong. But yeah, there's Toei stickers on the box, so you can kind of identify which one is the official ones. But there is Black Lady. So the last one I have is a Luna P, and she's from the same set. I decided to get Luna P, so then she could go with Black Lady. I do want to get Chibiusa from the set eventually, probably. I'm not sure. If I see her at a convention, I might get her. 
They had a lot of these for sale at Oticon. Luckily, I didn't see any bootlegs of them, but there are bootlegs out there. This one should be fairly quick to open. It's just two pieces. It's literally just Lenape and the stand. So it should be fairly easy, unlike the other two. So there's the sand. And there's a Luna P. And he just kind of sits right on there like that. Yeah. Pretty simple. Nothing too difficult about that. So there are all three of the figures. And they are really, really cool. Now you can find these on eBay, but like I said, the, the bootlegs are everywhere right now. They're on Amazon, eBay, so... I guess it's probably better, instead of stock photos, to see that you're gonna get one that's got this sticker on there. It kind of makes things a little easier to determine which one's official, which one is not official. But I really like these figures, and I think they're really cute. <laughs> And I'm definitely looking forward to the crystal ones. I know they're already out. I do have a few of them pre-ordered. Right now I'm just getting Sailor Moon and Princess Serenity. So, I don't know, unless they come out with more, maybe I might get uh, Sailor Chibi Moon or Pluto if they make them. But these are the ones I have so far, other than the ones from the first and second set. I also have this plush. This is one of the collection plushes. And if, you, if you've seen my review of the Sailor Moon one, this is of course the Chibi Moon one that goes with her. And I just finally got this one. I found one that was under retail, so I was pretty excited. So I purchased it from a seller from Japan. But she's extremely adorable and crazy, crazy soft. I mean, just look at her. I love their faces on these uh, plushes. I don't know why, like I know a lot of people find these kind of weird and kind of ugly, but I think they're really cute. And I think their faces are really unique in the way they're styled. And they're made out of this really soft material, like their faces and their hair, it's all made out of different material. And the hair itself is like a minky type material, which is really soft and cute. And they're costumes are really well detailed. They have like this metallic thread that makes up their brooches and they have metallic um, fabric in their tiaras and their the little dango discs that they have in their hair. And I just think they're overall just really pretty. I, I really like them and their tags are really nice. Like this is the one for Shibuya and it does have the Toei sticker on the back which is showing that it's official. Not sure what all this other stuff is. I think it's just warnings and, and that, but they're really adorable. And her bow in the back is huge, which is kind of funny. I really like that. And then of course her tush tag has the logo on the bottom, which is nice. But yeah, she's extremely adorable. I really, really like her. And she sits so well with Sailor Moon. And I just recently, after I bought her, I was still waiting a couple of days for her to come in and they just announced smaller versions of these in a little uh, keychain like dangle plush which is the exact same as these ones just a little bit smaller not sure if i want to get those but these are definitely cute and i think they are worth getting if you like cute plushes so there she is so this was all the items i have to share in this video so let me know what you think of all these items, which ones you like, which ones you have in your collection. But please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Alright, bye!